Hey, it's Felice, Totally Awake, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, then welcome. Go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. All right. Now, I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas. See, I still have on my Christmas pajamas. Take a shower, put them right back on because they're so cute. My in-laws got us all matching pajamas, so so very merry and i hope that's exactly um how your christmas was very merry okay um we had a great christmas over here it was wonderful i love christmas time it's a bit stressful for me especially growing up not celebrating <laughs> i think christmas is probably stressful sometimes for people that uh have grew up celebrating uh but it, it turns out and um it's over and it, it went well so I'm thankful for that. Now, I wanted to come on here today and um, I wanted to talk about one of these latest videos that I saw on JW.org that was kind of triggering for me. So I'm just going to, I'm not sure if, see, I was thinking about going live, y'all. I really was gonna do this video live, but you know, I feel like I just don't know what I'm doing. Like, I was trying to look up how do I screen share so I can share with y'all what I'm talking about. And there's right, really no way to do it but just to go on ahead and just try it out to see if what I've studied, if it works. But um, I'm just on my computer trying to look for the clip now. I mean, I could just add it in here. But I kind of want to, like, give you my reaction. I, wait, I may wind up just adding it, too. All right, here we go. So I'll just try to play it on the screen here as well. Protect yourself from misinformation. In today's world, there's a constant flood of information coming at you from just about everywhere. It's good to stay informed. The problem is that not everything you hear or see is true. Some of it is misinformation, opinions, half-truths, conspiracy theories, and even outright lies dressed up as facts. Misinformation isn't just inaccurate, it can also be dangerous. It can cause people to make bad decisions, or to ignore important safety warnings. So how can you protect yourself from misinformation? At Job 12.11, the Bible says that we should test out words, as the tongue tastes food. When you taste something new, you can spit it out if it's bad, before you swallow it. In the same way, before you believe a story, or repeat it to others, you should put it to the test. Here are two ways you can do that. Test number one. Consider the source of the information. Do you know where the information originally came from? <clears throat> Don't be fooled by appearances. An online post may look official, but behind the scenes, the author may just be repeating rumors or spreading his own opinions. And with something called deep fake technology, dishonest people can even do things like swap the faces and voices in a video to create a completely fake report. So, even if a story is widely repeated, follow the Bible's advice of 1 Thessalonians 5.21 and make sure of all things. Com Had to stop it right there. Yes, make sure of all things. Make sure of all things. But it's kind of hard to do when you've kind of spooked them into even trying to make sure of all things. Like, how do they make sure of all things if you've, if, if you're coming out with this type of video? Like, the other videos that you have before, but this one was kind of different in a way because, I don't know, for one, it made me think about a conversation that I once had with my Jehovah's Witness dad before, um, you know, when I was trying to talk about things that I had learned and things that I know about and I was mentioning the Australia Warrior Commission and how Jeffrey Jackson, you know, lied under oath. Now, does the governing body or do the members of the governing body um, 
do you see yourselves as modern day disciples, the modern day equivalent of Jesus' disciples? Uh, we certainly hope to follow Jesus and be his disciples. And do you see yourselves as Jehovah God's spokespeople on earth? Uh, that, I think, would seem to be quite presumptuous to, to say that uh, we are the only spokesperson that God is using. You know, um, saying that it would be presumptuous to say that the Jehovah's Witnesses was the one and only true religion. So I'm like, why would anybody follow, follow them if the leaders aren't even convinced that it's the one and only true religion? You know, and... Um, I thought it, it was very telling. I, I mean, he outright lied because we know that the Jehovah's Witnesses, they do believe that they are in the one and only true religion. Not that it is presumptuous, you know. My dad said, <laughs> when I was telling him about Jeffrey Jackson being under oath, he mentioned this, how, you know, technology, do you know how advanced technology is these days and telling me how they could have, how they swap people's faces out and this and that. I mean, he wasn't even really addressing, addressing what I was talking about saying that they could have done that for that. He was just saying how they do that. And so it almost seemed like he wasn't even concerned that that could have been Jeffrey Jackson because he already know how technology is. So he's not even going to be fooled by something like that because he know one of his leaders ain't get on there and say no foolishness like that was basically what how I took what he was saying and that was just so bizarre to me it was just unbelievable to me they put in people's mind that someone could switch the faces and hey that that that's true that could be but why don't you think everything else that you hear is fake why don't you think that every every news anchor has their face switched when they're talking about any subject matter why would they need to tell their members this I don't even know what the rest of the video say before I decided that I wanted to talk about this. I literally stopped right there because that made me, I just got off because I'm just like, you know, um, I don't even know what else to say right now because this is just dumb. I mean, it's a whole court, you know, case out, you know, plenty of court cases out there. But I mean, the Australian Royal Commission is a whole big thing that they can watch and see, you know, the representatives of, of this cult get on stand and say some things that they would be astonished to hear if they sat down and, list, and listened to the Australian Royal Commission, which we may do together on this channel, just bit by bit. That may be upcoming, that may be something good to do. And just kind of give our thoughts on several different parts. You know, just do a series or something. But if they if they take the time to look at that, they, they won't take the time to look at it, but even if they did take the time to look at it, then you have this poison coming back in their mind that their leaders then put out on their, their channel, telling them that People can switch the faces and make it seem like it's somebody and it's not. So you just going to be like, oh, that really went my leader up there talking and, and saying that. Oh, we really don't, you know, have a problem with CSA. That, that That's fake news. Everything is fake to them. Everything is life. It's a game. Really. <laughs> Everything. They, they believe what they want to believe. And that's that's sickening. That's really a dangerous way of life. Um. Um, I don't understand why they think that they're so important that people would use the technology needed, okay, waste the technology needed 
to try to uh, make up something so evil on them to try to, I, I mean, there's plenty more people in the world than to hone in on Jehovah's Witnesses and try to deceive their members if somebody wanted. Like, I don't understand what this could be for. Like, nobody is doing that. This is real stuff. This is real facts. You know, people are being abused. Kids are being hurt. They're really losing their registration in Norway. I mean, they even said that on the broadcast. But, you know, people really are unaliving themselves because they have been shunned by their family and all of the community that they've ever known, that they've ever known because they are being, they are following the rules of this cult, the evil doctrine to shun. And this is how the members stay trapped. Because it's like they would have to face their fears. Other than that, there's no way out. There's no way out than but to face your fears. Because this cult stays instilling the most fear. You know, Jehovah's Witnesses, they don't know what to believe. So anything negative, they'll just shut down. They'll shut down. It can't be true. It can't be true, no matter what proof you have. You can have their leaders on camera saying whatever, and they'll they'll still deny it. And this is why, because of this type of programming that they're under. Let's see what else this says, because I honestly don't know. Pair what you hear with other sources to verify the information. Test number two. Consider the purpose of a story. Is it really to present the facts or to promote just one side of an issue? Some reports spin the news, emphasizing certain details and downplaying others to sway your opinion. Some reports may even be conspiracy theories, claims that certain groups have secretly plotted to cause a tragic event or crisis. The purpose is often to promote prejudice and hatred. Such theories have a way of spreading like wildfire. But they are just that. Theories. And sometimes they're just based like on deliberate lies. They hold belief systems so as a theory. Don't be fooled. But before you spend time and effort testing everything you hear, there's an important question you need to ask yourself. Is the story really that important to you? Flashy headlines can make even trivial news items seem important. But if you follow every bit of information that pops up, you just may hit information overload or get stressed out about reports that are more speculation than actual news. If you feel overwhelmed, it may help to turn off some notifications and just search for the information you need when you need it. Of course, even if you're not online, Misinformation can spread by word of mouth. Even well-meaning friends may just repeat what they've heard. So whether you read something, hear it from another person, or it's forwarded to you by a friend, remember the words of Proverbs 14.15. The naive person believes every word, but the shrewd one ponders each step. Right, so y'all need to ponder what, what they teaching y'all. This is just nonsense. No other religion is doing this. No other religion is making a whole video production about misinformation. What? You are grown adults. I think you can use your discernment to decide what you want to believe and not believe that's in the media, the news, or whatever that's sent to you. Whatever, I mean, why must they make a whole video for this and then you need to ask yourself what was their purpose for this because i see crystal clear what their purpose is 
you know, I feel like their purpose for making this video is to push their members deeper down in the sunken place because it's more and more information that's going to continuously come out about the Jehovah's Witnesses that's negative that should turn the members away. More and more members are going to continue to wake up. So they're trying to do everything they can to keep their grip. So now they're turning to make sure uh, that even if it's a video, to let them know, even if you see a, a video of a governing body member, that may not even be true. That's what I'm taking from it. Because why would you say this stuff? What are you talking about? And see, they always making this kind of video and um, Jehovah's Witnesses just like, mm, good spiritual food and don't think nothing else of it. No, I'm pondering. I'm pondering over why you, why would you put this video up on your site? What are you talking about? Why would you say that? What are we, we sh the Jehovah's Witnesses shouldn't be on nothing but JW.org anyway. But you know they not. They, they, they know they can't control them in that area. They all on these social media sites. So all they can do is try to put this fear into them. That when you start hearing negative stuff about us, though, remember this video right here. And that's that's all this was to me. Let me see what else it's saying. In other words, don't just believe everything you hear without thinking it through. But that doesn't mean we can't trust anything or anyone. Mm. If you hear something that makes you anxious or suspicious, go to someone you trust. Someone with more experience. Who can help you evaluate the truth behind witness. it? That's gonna keep By you taking the time in the to fog. evaluate information sources, considering the purpose behind the reports you hear, and not getting bogged down with news you don't really need, you'll be well informed instead of misinformed, and that will help you make good decisions and stay safe. Yeah. Yeah, so it was just bizarre to me that they would put that up. I mean, really at this point, it's all bizarre. And it, it just, what what more can we expect but bizarreness from them? What more can we expect but them doing everything they can to try to keep their the grip on their members? Because they know, they know that they are, they are a falling tower. Yeah. Falling down to the ground, Watchtower. And this, these kind of videos, the Jehovah's Witnesses, they're not even watching that. They ain't even watching it. They, they, they don't keep up with this stuff, which is kind of sad because really, if they kept up with it, maybe they would wake up and they would realize that, you know, something ain't right here. They constantly talking about apostates. They constantly trying to make us just put all this fear into us if they kept up with this they probably would just wake up just off of how weird their leaders act alone you know keep telling them not to go to youtube and just everything they, they tell them they they basically like i told you before they they want them to kind of wake up the smart ones they're trying to give them hints to go on on head and do their research and, and even in this video he's telling you to do your research do your research. Learn that you're in a cult. And um, they're going to continuously put out cult propaganda. And try to keep as many people as they can in. But be smart. And, and don't be one of those people. Be the smart ones. Be the... Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> the small percentage of the ones that, that make it out. Because I think it's, it's going to be quite obvious in a minute here. And people aren't going to have a choice but to just leave, hopefully, because, you know, we got 1975 and everything. People stay. I, I, I don't understand that to this day, that people saw the events leading up to 1975 and how they, in their literature, insinuated that the world would come to an end um, by 1975 with the way that they talked. The people that stayed after that is unbelievable to me. You know, like my grandma. And um, because I feel like you was a grown lady and you should have known that you just lived through a false prophecy. 
And that's the same thing that was happening now with the pandemic. You guys just lived through a false prophecy. And as time go on, you know, it's, it's, it's going to shed the light more and more of just how big of a false prophecy this was, this whole um, 2020 pandemic thing. Like the words of Stephen Lett, him saying it's the last of the last of the last of the last, 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 last day of the last, very last day of the last, second of the last hour of the last, last minute. A deadly plague. So the events unfolding around us are making clearer than ever that we're living in the final part of the last days, undoubtedly the final part of the final part of the last days, shortly before the last day of the last days. You know, I don't, what? It sounded ridiculous. I was reading something on Reddit where somebody was writing out what he said, and it was like the final part of the final part of the final part. And I literally read like every single line because that's how silly I am, but it was like a whole bunch. Um, terrible though. Like it's just so terrible the way they went and carried on and that was just a false prophecy so anyway guys i'm gonna go ahead and go make sure to like this video leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think all right and i'll be back with another one bye